What's up guys, how you guys doing? So, I'm starting today's vlog off at 7 p.m. Not the earliest or the best place to start, but we are going to McDonald's right now to get some flurries. And it should be good. And to see her friend, and it should be pretty good. Finished my McFlurry right here a long time ago. It is all gone as you can see. But I'm on GTA right now. I bought a bunker for its bunker DLC, so gonna do that right now and maybe saw a few things. Okay guys, um, it's like almost 11 right now and I have not recorded much today, but because of that I wanted to do a quick story time for you guys. Just uh, basically how I got out to California and there's a Minecraft poster behind me, but uh, you can look at it if you want, but uh, you can also listen to uh, this story I'm about to tell you guys. Okay, there we go. I had to change uh, the way my camera was up because, and there's a light right by my head, but ignore that. So here's the story of how I actually moved to California. So, in the summer of 2015, my family moved from Arizona to California because my dad uh, got promoted to a colonel. He's an officer in the Air Force, and that's why I'm saying he's a colonel in the Air Force right now. I'm not saying what he does, but he used to be a pilot. That's it, though. Um, we moved from Arizona to California because he got promoted, and one other thing before I continue, guys, he's in the reserve, so it's not active duty. We did not move around as much as most people in the reserves do, like most Air Force families, but, uh, yeah, uh, moving there was pretty hard because I went from uh, living in a neighborhood where, like, basically everyone knew everyone to moving to this place where it's like, uh, if you have not lived here for three or four generations, then you are an outsider, and quick distraction real quick, you can kind of see my mustache coming in, and I have not shaved all summer, so this is the work of progress, people. So we moved from there to California, and uh, for the first, like, week we lived out there, uh, we were living in an RV on the base that my dad worked at because uh, we were still wanting to move into the house uh, because they were going through renovations, but right after the renovations were complete, um, basically I went back there to Arizona for a week because... My old J Rots unit, so, uh, if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically ROTC for high school. Um, they did this summer camp every year, and I got selected to go, but everyone knew I was moving. But they said that I could just come back uh, for that week, I could meet them up at the school that they were at. So uh, I went back there for the day before I uh, basically like shipped out for another summer boot camp. That was my second time going, and those trips were really fun, and I missed going on them like the summer like my second summer in California and did that for a week then I had to come back here and we left a bunch of stuff in our house in Arizona that we brought back with us and uh, being back in that house and seeing all my old friends one last time uh, it uh, really uh, made me realize like uh, this is it like I'm moving away from them mm. And that brings me to the reason as to why I'm moving back to Arizona in August. I got selected to go to the University of Arizona. That was not my first choice of college to go to. I wanted to go to the University of Tennessee, but I got rejected from it. So I instead chose the University of Arizona because I used to live in Arizona, and I know people that go to the U of A, and uh, it's really close to the town I used to live in. So I felt pretty good, and I was so happy when I got it. Like, literally, this whole... Like, about midnight with the night I got the acceptance letter email, I was literally could not sleep. I was hyper. I was having, like, this uh, little silent dance party in here, which is kind of embarrassing. But that's the reason why. Because the reason... And this is the reason why I'm moving back to Arizona. It's because that's where, like, all the happiness uh, on the West Coast, at least, between Arizona and California... That's where most of the happy memories are for me. And on my main channel, actually, I'm going to be doing, like, a timeline of my whole high school thing. Like, it's a sense I started using social media in freshman year. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of why, if you didn't get it, it's because it's kind of hard for me to explain even still. But, uh, I do miss living in there. And I missed, uh, not graduating with my friends at my old high school in Arizona, as you guys saw. Uh, during Memorial Day weekend vlogs, uh, uh, recently, a few months ago, but, yeah, it was tough moving, and to all the people that, like, all military families and generally people that move all the I kids, I understand your pain, like, it is not easy moving, you leave everything behind and you have to basically start over again, 
and it's hard. But that's basically the story as to why I moved from Arizona to California and why I'm moving back to Arizona. Okay guys, that's the next morning. That's going to be the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or if you've been watching and you just haven't subscribed yet. Uh, go follow all my social media in the description below, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.